Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School. Today I'm just going to show you a really simple, easy recipe. I'm going to show you how to bone out a sea bass. Um, we're going to take both fillets off. Um, I'm going to do one side very quickly and then I'll do the other side a little slower. Um, when you see the second fillet it will make more sense. So the first thing we're going to do, well I'm using a proper knife which is quite flexible and um, if you have a flexible knife it means you can just slide all the way down the fish's backbone. Uh, but I'm going to cut into the flesh and I'm going to show you how to do it incorrectly to begin with because if I carry on what will happen is um, you'll end up with a thin line of fish all the way to the end and actually you want to incorporate both contours. So if you do find that you're making a mistake, it's easy to correct. You just go back out with a knife um, to the two contours and then you can reset the position of your knife so that when you slide along like that, you're sliding along all the way to the head. And when you get to the head, so as you can see, that fillet's now taken off. When you get to the head, just at an angle, cut round the actual head itself. So round it goes, and you should find that you can just rip that fillet off. So I'll just do that one more time. So you cut into, oops, <laughs> cut into the tail, like that. Once you can feel the bone, you know, feel free to take the knife back out again and just work above those two fins. Like that. Now it's being a bit, it's because it's a little bit tricky to get over that fin, you can see what I did, I went in and back over it. Working my way along, I like to grip the head like that, this is just the way I do it. And I do find that if you use that part of the knife, um, I mean use the tip to begin with, but the further down the fish you go, I think um, the more um, you should use the heel of the knife. So when you get to the end you can really yank through and get that by using that part of the knife and obviously just cut round the head. Right, we have both fillets. We're not quite done though. There are two more stages to this process. The first is um, we need to take out the rib cage. So I can do that like that. So that's one and I'll just do the other which is same sort of process. Again, just having a really flexible knife gives you the option of incorporating as much of the flesh as possible. This you can use for a stock. Um, and the final thing is, if you run your finger, you'll feel that there's about six or seven bones, which are called pin bones, um, one of which is normally at the very front, uh, which people leave out. And what you do is just go along and click pluck them out like that. If you try and use conventional tweezers, uh, it just doesn't work, they're not robust enough. Um, but if you use special dedicated fish tweezers, there's that bone I was talking about in the very front. Um, you will find that you'll be able to get them out. I'm just going to carry on, finish the job off. You can run your finger along and feel whether it's filleted or not. And there you have it, that is how to fill it a fish.